welcome to Art in the Highlands. I'm the junior curator and today we're looking at a painting by Jill Gavacore. Thank you, junior curator. These are two works we have in the gallery by Jill. I won't dally because she's just going to tell us herself about her painting. So I'll pass you over to Jill. Jill. Hi, uh, welcome to my studio here in uh, Sheffield, in my home in Sheffield. So you can see from the paintings behind me on my wall, I paint semi-abstract landscapes and not so abstracted still lives. And this is one that I've got on my easel that I just about finished. I think it's finished. Often difficult to tell that exact point when it's finished. So I like to work um, on a flattened perspective. Many years ago, I saw um, for the first time Elizabeth Blackadder's still lives, her oil paintings, uh, and uh, I had a big response to them. Uh, the swathes of colour that she uses and this flattening of, of the perspective, which allows you to play around and be more freer with the placement of the objects, which I really like, and uh, create spaces, the spaces in between are, are just as important to me as the actual objects. And colour, colour is another big thing for me. I love um, jewel-like strong colours, but always again, so I always like to have these muted colours, beiges and greys, and I think it's the, the, the British light, that cloudy British light, um, which mutes everything. And to me, it creates these kind of very beautiful, soft greys, heathery, purpley, greyish greens that I really like. And for me, the, the glow of the colour, the brighter colour against them, uh, works for me. I like to work in a series. At the moment I've been working on a few with this orange jug um, and the quail's eggs as well. I've got to show you the quail's eggs. <laughs> I bought them um, for to, I was running some art classes uh, and I've never held them before and they are so beautiful. Have a look up close to these, aren't they amazing? So, thank you for listening and I hope to see you again sometime soon. Thank you, Jill. Um, what she didn't say was that Jill has quite a Scottish heritage and you can see that in a way in her painting, the influence of Elizabeth Blackadder and as Jill was saying, the, the flat perspective. These are two we have in the gallery at the moment. Uh, we have another few, so do look at the gallery, mcewangallery.com. And um, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.